Testing, testing, one, two, three. Welcome to my channel, baby, baby, ba 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 baby, baby. Ah. Hello, ladies, and welcome to my lower body workout. Bring it in, bring it in. If you're new here, my name is Krista. Today, we're gonna do a lower body workout that needs very minimal equipment. And you should be able to do this from your home, even if you don't have equipment. Just find something around your house that will work. Like literally, a gallon of milk, a gallon of water, a textbook, a lamp, a vase, laundry detergent, literally anything. For today's workout, we are doing four different exercises. That's it. But each exercise, I want you to give 100%. I want you to be able to finish today's workout and be like, I gave it 100%, I couldn't give 1% more. I want you to feel good, I want you to feel proud of yourself, you deserve to feel that way. So go find something around your house and we're gonna get right into it. We're gonna start off with dynamic stretches. There's two different types of stretches that I typically do, dynamic and static stretching. Dynamic stretches are what you wanna do before your workout and static stretching is what you wanna do afterwards. Dynamic stretching is mainly just movement, just really warming up your body. So the first First thing that we're gonna do is swing this leg. We're gonna swing it straight forward, straight backwards, five times on this leg, all right? Here we go. One, two, three, four. You only make you feel like Same thing, other leg though. So let's switch it up. You ready? Begin. Next. You're gonna stand straight forward. This leg is gonna kick to the side five times, right? Here we go. Other leg, same thing. Next, you are gonna stand to the side and you're gonna roll this leg out five times, just like this, rolling that leg out. Other leg, same thing. I want you guys to do what are called floor sweeps. So you're gonna prop one leg up, sweep the floor. Next leg, prop it up, sweep the floor. We are gonna do this on both sides five times. The next thing we're gonna do is a squat to hamstring stretch. So you're gonna have a wide stance about shoulder width apart. You're gonna squat, and then you are gonna bend over, stretching out your hamstrings, just like this. And we are gonna do this five times. Ready, begin. Now we are ready to begin. So the first exercise we are starting off with are Romanian deadlifts. RDLs are one of the hardest exercises to perfect in my opinion. They took me forever to get down. So number one, if you're not feeling it in the right places, drop the weight. I know you guys wanna see progress, trust me, I've been there. But don't use too heavy of a weight to the point you're gonna hurt yourself because your form is not 100%. So let's go over form. The first step for any exercise, engage your core. I do not care if you're doing dumbbell bicep curls, Romanian deadlifts, whatever exercise, engage your core. Now for feet placement, I want your feet about shoulder width apart and they are also facing forward. From the side, I want you to make sure your booty is tucked. You never ever ever want to be doing Romanian deadlifts with a broken back like this. What I used to do and what a lot of people do, and there's no shame in the game, we all have to learn, is a lot of people send their hips backwards just like this. You 
here, send your hips backwards and you kind of want to like stick your butt out. That's not what you want to do. It's only going to lead to back pain. So what I want you guys to do is tuck your booty underneath just like this. Then I want you to think about bringing your chest forward and sending your hips backwards while keeping your back in one straight line. Another way to visualize this is imagine there's like an imaginary door right here. Okay, your goal is to close it with your glutes, but you have to keep your back straight. So tuck your booty underneath, bring your chest forward, send your hips backwards as far as you can to close that door. I can lift my toes up if I wanted to because all of my weight is in my heel. And then again, keeping that back in a straight line, bringing the glutes right back up. You have a choice. You can make this glute focused or you can make it hamstring focused. If you are trying to target your hamstrings, the muscle located in the back of your leg, you are gonna keep your legs straight. So hamstring focus equals leg straight. Bring your chest forward, send your hips backwards, keep those legs straight. Feel a stretch in the back of your hamstrings and then slow and controlled right back up. The only difference is for glute focus, you're gonna have a slight bend in your knee. As I bring my chest forward, send my hips backwards, Slight bend in the knee, I feel it stretch my glutes, and then slow and controlled right back up. Keep your dumbbells close to your body. Act like you are painting your legs with your dumbbells. You do not want them way out here, so keep them nice and close. Make sure you are not going too low to the floor. Once you feel it stretch either your hamstrings or your glutes, you want to stop. Do not go to the floor or your ankles, all right, because that's only going to lead to back pain. I know this is a lot of information, so practice makes perfect. Today, I am going to be doing three sets of 12, and then I'm going to go until failure. I am doing three sets of 12. Of course, you can modify this to your liking. You got this. Here we go. our very last set we are pushing until failure which means you are gonna keep going doing these until you physically can't anymore so don't give yourself a number okay just literally do it you want to see progress that's what you're gonna do so let's get to it on fire oh are you guys ready 
to do some Bulgarian split squats next. I want you to find that some sort of bench you can use to prop your leg up on. If you're at your house, you can use a sofa, a stool, a bed, or just any type of platform. First thing, of course, engage your core. This shin should be vertical and your foot is facing forward. From here, you're gonna press through this leg. This leg back here, is just there to stabilize. All of your weight is always on this front leg, never in the back leg. Now, if you want to, you can use a weight to make this a little bit more challenging. If you don't have weight or you don't want to use weight, body weight is fine. You want to make sure your spine is neutral and you're leaning slightly forward to make this a little bit more glute focused. You're pushing straight back, chest coming to the leg. All of the weight is in the front foot, coming right back up. I have planned four sets of eight. Four sets of eight. This is going to be torture. So just like the last one, I'm going to do the first one and I'll record my last set. I'm not going to record all four. So we're doing four sets. How many reps you want to do for each set? Completely up to you. First leg done, switch it up. I know this sucks so bad, but you got this, right? Other leg, here we go. should be banging baby and now we have three more sets of those at this point you should feel like you want to die but we have one more set left right this is when we push through we persevere okay so give this 100 this is our very last set of bulgarian split squats and then we're moving on Other leg. Oh my god, I feel like I want to die. We did it, you did it. Those are evil, I swear. You can get through those, you can get through anything. We're moving on. All right, next we're gonna do cast glute bridges, which are one of my favorite glute exercises of all time. Absolutely love them. They're great for isolating the glutes. What you need for cast glute bridges is just something you can prop yourself up on. So I'm gonna be using this box, but what I want you to look for is something that is short enough so your shoulder blades are right above it. So the bottom of my shoulder blades are sitting on this box. You don't want something that's too hot. My feet placement, they're a little bit further out in front of me. I like to be able to touch 
touch my heels. I don't want them too far forward, too far back, and my feet are slightly turned out. If you are using a super duper heavy dumbbell or super duper heavy weight, a barbell, an object, whatever you're using, you may wanna get like a hip thrust pad because if you are using a super heavy weight, it can sometimes bruise your bones and hurt. So just get something to pad your hips with. Here, you're gonna press into your heel, thrusting your hips up towards the ceiling, squeezing your glutes for two seconds. You're always looking towards your feet. You never wanna put your head like this. So always looking towards your feet and then you're gonna come about halfway down and right back up, squeezing the glutes. You can hold the weight with your hands, but again, you're gonna come about halfway down and right back up, okay? You're not going all the way down and back up because that's gonna be a hip thrust. That's the difference. Hip thrust, you go all the way down and then right back up. Cast glute bridges, you go about halfway down and then back up. You're gonna get into our first set. We are doing a total of three sets of 15 and then we're gonna push until failure for the very last set, all right? So let's do our first set together, pause to your other two, and then we'll finish with failure. Let's get to it. First set, done, pause, do your other two sets, and then we'll push until failure together. You got this, push yourself, give 100%, here we go. All right, you should be dead. We have one more set to go, we're gonna push through together. Do as many reps as you can, even if it's not like 15. Bridges. Should be shaking like a leaf and dripping sweat. We have one more exercise, our last and final exercise, which is the worst one yet. So let's get right into it. Now this last one is gonna take some mental power. It's a mind game. You can physically get through it, but it's gonna suck. The last exercise we are gonna do are squat pulses. Step one, engage your core. Step two, feet are about shoulder width apart and they're slightly turned out to an angle. From the side, your booty is gonna be tucked. If you want to hold a weight in your hand to make this more challenging or just use your body weight, you're gonna be leaning slightly forward, coming into a squatting position and we are gonna pulse here. Now we're gonna do three rounds, 30 seconds each. Gonna pulse for 30 seconds, break, pulse, break, pulse, break. The timer's going. Here we go. In three, two, one, begin, stay low. Don't forget to breathe. Keep that booty tucked, spine neutral. We have about 20 seconds left. 15. 10. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, break. Stretch out those quads. I'm lightheaded. <laughs> Keep going though, we're not pausing. We're starting back up in about 15 seconds. You ready? Ooh, take a nice deep breath. Here we go. In 10 seconds. Three, two, one, round two. 
push through. You got this. Stay low, don't cheat yourself out. Fifteen seconds. You got this, push yourself. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, break. Whew. Second round done. Feeling like I'm about to pass out. You got this though. We have one lap and final round. Give this all you got. Push yourself, get through it, 30 seconds. And then we're all done for today, okay? 10 seconds, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, begin. Stay low. Twenty seconds left. Fifteen. Get through it, that's it. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, break. Guys, you did it. We are done with the take off. Hallelujah. Let me catch my breath. I'll be right back. We are done with today's workout. High five. I am so proud of you. You should be proud of yourself. Comment below which exercise was your guys' favorite or let's do what was your favorite and what was your least favorite. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's workout. If you are new here, I also do live workouts on TikTok every single day at 9 a.m. Eastern time. But there's also people who can't join the live workout, so this is the perfect place for them. I will be posting a ton of workout videos on my channel, so stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed. Love ya! people do is it really though i don't know you have the gym whatever you prefer prefer whatever you prefer i like it oh is it recording it is. oh <laughs> i'm just like my weights in this front foot push, pushing straight up <laughs> oh my god because if you're using a super du super duper 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 duper